What's up guys, it's Nolan here with Okos Automotive, back with another video on the all new VBWX. Today, we're taking a look at a suspension system from Fortune Auto. So this is gonna be Fortune Auto's 500 series coilover. It's sort of their, their base model or entry level to the different series that they offer. Um, you're gonna get one-way damping adjustment, um, an adjustable ring as well as overall shock body um, and all the typical features that we've come to expect from a modern coilover. Brief little overview here. Uh, we'll take the, the front shock, kind of go down the line and give you the rundown here. Uh, one of the nice features I like are Fortune Auto's lock rings. Um, instead of a conventional ring that would lock against say another ring at this lower spring perch here, you get a nice hex to crimp the ring down on the shaft of the shock. Um, so that just saves some uh, time and, and effort dealing with an extra ring that maybe you otherwise wouldn't need. Uh, so that's a cool feature there. Also like, of course, the marking of the bolt size of that hex there. Um, hex key, of course, included if you don't have one already. <clears throat> Another nice bit here, uh, tagged from the factory. Uh, we see here it's preload set from factory, do not adjust. So also nice to see we have the preload on the spring set to a, I assume good middle ground for where they want it to be based on how they develop the rest of the shock travel for the front. Um, and we have those on the rear here as well. Moving up to the top hat here, we've got a nice solid aluminum camber plate. Um, so that's gonna give us our nice camber adjustment, but also just gonna give us a nice uh, rigid piece as opposed to the OEM mostly rubber top hat. So that's gonna kind of sharpen up the ride a little bit, sharpen up the turn in, all that, that good stuff. These are of course to a nice high quality pillow ball at the top here. So you get that pivot point uh, nice and stiff actually can't even really move it by hand, which is usually a good sign. You don't want those loose and sloppy right out of the box. Um, last little bit on the top here, we have a nice uh, adjuster screw. That's just gonna be for your one-way damping adjustment. Uh, a couple different clicks, obviously left or right, depending on how soft or hard you want your damping. Included as well, we have a nice set of adjustable end links here. Uh, those are of course required with this new design on the VB that has the end link attached to the strut instead of the control arm. Uh, these are of course adjustable as well so you can get your preload set properly uh, depending on your ride height adjustment there. So that's good to see. Of course also we have a nice set of spanner wrenches that you'll need for the uh, rings as well as adjustment there. And then lastly, we have a nice certificate of assembly um, from our boy Robert B who built these. Shout out to Robert. Um, thanks. So that's pretty much gonna cover the rundown of these coilovers from Fortune Auto. Um, I won't bore you anymore with my talking and we will get straight into installing these on the car. So important first step here when installing adjustable suspension or coilovers is to get a good baseline of your ride height before you change anything. Um, so we just got the car on the ground here and somewhat of a crude measurement, but you need some sort of baseline. So we're just gonna go from the ground here to our fender lip. In this case, it's right at 70 centimeters. And we'll just mark that on a sheet, go around the whole car, get all our measurements, then we can take everything apart and we at least know uh, where we started and where we end up once the coilovers are installed. Um, basically just helps with adjustment, have a point of reference of starting point.
All right, so we're just about ready to put the coilovers on the car. We got all the stock stuff off, but we do want to uh, set them up at least of some sort of kind of starting point for our ride height here. Uh, so just got it on the table. The bottom mount here is loose. Um, pretty much we'll just take a measurement here and we're gonna set a rough shock length. I think about, mm, we'll maybe do like 40 centimeters um, just to get everything kind of in unison. You know, what does that measurement really mean? We don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna find out once we put it on the car. Uh, so I'm gonna get these set and the rear set and we'll get it all installed and then actually adjust from there. All right, so here's the adjustment that I landed on, just kind of seeing where this will get us. Um, but we got these all snugged up on the rings here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put them on the car and set her down and see how it looks. All right, that's gonna wrap up our install here of the Fortune Auto 500 coilovers on the VB WRX. Uh, spent some time getting the adjustment dialed in. I think it landed at a, a good ride height where it'd still be nice for some you know, street use and daily use, but definitely sharpen up the, the performance and the, the body roll. Um, definitely excited to take it out on a test drive and, and see how it feels, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video here. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.